we shouldn't insult the President of the United States when we're the Prime Minister of Canada. And, you know, we saw Justin Trudeau act like an absolute child uh, when dealing with a very shrewd and capable negotiator. And now, I mean, with the United States on our side, there is nothing we can't accomplish. Do you think if the United States really wanted to help us out with the, getting the two Michaels home, they couldn't make it happen? Donald Trump will not lift a finger to help Justin Trudeau because of what he's done. We need to take our closest, closest allies seriously. We need to forge an excellent relationship with them. We need to work with them to constrain China. We need to work with them. Aaron O'Toole has spoken about free and fair trade with like-minded countries. What a great example. They're right there waiting for us. We can, we can, we can deal with them. Uh, to, to make many things happen. And another thing we need to do is we need to start pulling our weight when it comes to NATO. We need to up our uh, military spending to our NATO commitments. And I will do that. I'll do it within five years. If we are pulling our weight and we're not seeing as just, you know, dragging on their uh, uh, support because we happen to live beside them, maybe they'll be willing to work together with us. Maybe they'll be willing to help us uh, when it comes to exerting pressure in other countries. They are our greatest ally and we, under this next government, which will be a conservative government, I know our relationship with the United States will be restored. And I'll go so far as to say, I am confident that Donald Trump will defy the odds again and be the next administration. And when I am leader of the Conservative Party, I will give him a call and congratulate him.